When air passes over a surface at high speed, it creates a partial vacuum. This is the same principle that lets an airplane fly. Fingers point and fingers crawl. This experiment Press tests this if wall. this effect can be used to make a dirt bike exhaust help cool the radiator. A shop vac blower was used to simulate the exhaust of a dirt bike. Several different shapes were tested to find out which one created the best vacuum. A homemade manometer was used to measure the amount of vacuum. This produced a vacuum, but hardly any. This gave us more vacuum, but not enough. Days are numbered, nights are spent. Are you hell or heaven? Tapping into the smaller tube increased the vacuum by 25%. To try to increase the vacuum, cone shapes were introduced to smooth the airflow. This doubled the vacuum compared to previous attempts. The best port position was at the narrowest point. Before this point, it actually blew out air. We decided to smooth the air more by making a fancy fiberglass part. This improved things even more than we thought it would. Opening up more ports costs us a little bit of vacuum. All of our test results can be seen here. Now, I see the on the now it was time to see how much air we could flow. A wind meter was used to indicate airspeed. The equation pi r squared l was used to convert the airspeed into cubic feet per minute. Each test operated on different principles. In the first test, the airspeed was just too low. In the next two tests, turbulence was caused by the sudden reduction of diameter. Because of this, the airspeed in the small tube was less than it should have been. The cone shapes helped with this, but still caused turbulence due to the sharp edges. The smooth airfoil shape it flowed so well, it hardly made any sound. This experiment worked well, but not well enough to replace an electric radiator fan. <laughs>